Hey guys, this is Queegy Court once again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a night day slash light sensor in version 1.3.1 and onwards of Minecraft. And just as a little demo, I think I'm just going to show you it changing night. So now it can take a little bit of time, but it's fairly reliable, and we really should see in a minute that little light should turn on and we'll see that it's detected it's night time and then I'll show you where it redetected it's daytime. There we go, we finally changed them. It can take a couple of minutes to update because of the random updating time for the block here. Um so yeah I guess I'll also show you switch back to morning. And that light should turn off soon just to show that it works both ways. It tends to be a little bit slower changing at night time than it is changing in daytime. There you go, much quicker in daytime. Yes, it can take several minutes to change at night. Right, now I'm going to show you how to make one. Um, you basically begin with a 3 by 3 square grass blocks at the base and you need to build yourself a little pillar probably so you can build two more 3x3 three three rings to leave the middles empty and you need to keep this stuff here so that you can update your piston and now that we've got these rings the next part we need to do is build a bud switch so we need to put a sticky piston here with a block on top. I have to put a redstone torch here specifically. And um, we had to build this part here with another part on top and that stacked up there. So we've got this funny sort of shape made out of blocks here and we put a piece of redstone dust here, a redstone torch here and we need to make a little L shape here and put three pieces of redstone dust on the top to a point like that. Oh wait, no, um, remove that part now and we place a redstone repeater here and that will make this bud switch here work. So then, now that we've added that bud switch we need to make the part that's going to supply power across to us. So we need a redstone torch on the side of this block here with a sticky piston here and a block here and this bit works off a bug where the piston won't grab onto the block so now when we update that that's going to push the block out and not pull it back in and then pull it back in again and now that we've got that part we need a piston here which is going to cut off that water in a bit um, and we need a block here with a redstone torch on top and then we can run the output off here and now it's currently set in the nighttime setting and we'll have water there. So that means that at night, um, that's what it should look like at the start in a morning. So in the morning it'll look like that and then um, it'll update and change into the other state and the water should be flowing down during the day. So we'll just quickly update that and you can build little systems to update this. But that's actually basically it, and that's all it takes to make a night day clock, and this can be incredibly useful for making automatic street lamp systems, for example, if you just want a bit more fastivity to it. And um, I'm also just going to explain, because I've seen it seen before, um, this water here is required as at night, when water is on top of this grass block here, it will kill it and turn it back into dirt, updating this piston and then it gets cut off so that there's no water on top of the dirt anymore so it can grow back into grass and all this grass here is used to refill that block and update again and another useful thing about this is it can be completely covered up and just leave just a small square of water and no one will ever really know the difference assuming you keep it well hidden enough but the problem with this is it's useful as a night day sensor or as a light sensor But so if you've got a glowstone or a torch right next to it it's not actually going to work and 
it'll stay always in the daytime state, which is off. And in order to change that, if you wanted it powered in the day, then you just put an inverter on it, and that would work. But otherwise, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I can't remember who I originally saw build one of these, but I did a little bit of experimenting and simplified it a bit, and then in 1.3 it didn't work anymore, so I did a little bit of experimenting, and this is it now. And, um, yeah, I think the best way, though, to build an updater for this is probably, basically, just to hook up a piston there with a button. So very simple, very, very simple. So we'll just put a button there, and you'd probably have to hook up to a pulser or something, but I'm not going to make that now. And you'd be able to configure it, and I think that's about it for today. Thanks for watching, and um, try it yourself. Wiggy out.